What's up guys? We're back with some more playing with potato season three. This is our first twos games. Let's see how these go. Uh so at first when you're playing at lower levels, you just gotta figure out how good your team is. Like your teammate is. There, uh he wasn't great. Okay, he's he's just gonna keep pushing me. That works. Screw up my play, but that's fine. Oh, I missed my shot. Oh well. <laughs> I couldn't get it back around. Um so, I'm trying to figure out how my teammate plays here. So far, he, like, drove away from the net when the ball was near it. So, I know to be careful for that. And he, um... I had a better play than him, and he still tried to, like, keep fighting me to get into a better spot. Uh, so, I know he's probably going to be a ball chaser for the most part. Uh, so, I just got to be careful with him. I got to be patient playing with Big Marb, and we'll, we'll see how it is. We'll see how it goes. He's using the hot shot though. Mad respect for that. I love the hot shot. One thing that, that you want to do a lot when you're playing lower levels, try and shoot the ball high. It's good to have a high hitbox car because then like when the ball's on the ground like this, you can get it high, but it'll still angle towards their net pretty well. And so you, you can keep it under the crossbar a little bit better with higher hitbox cars if you want to try for those chips. Um, and around prospect level, no one really can play that well like with... Um, with high shots because they're not probably the greatest flyers or anything like that so right there uh nicholas front flip to move up and that is why you don't do that and you would rather use boost once he front flips he's completely out of position and he can't make a play say he started boosting up he could have easily turned and like maybe made a play here but since he front flipped it takes him out of the play for about a half second and it moves him up the field like uncontrollably and that is why generally you want to use boost when you can to move around the field and only use your flips when um, you know you're safe to move to a certain spot on the field. Got a little bump to action there. Get the ball out. Just try and tip that around the other shooter or the other defender. Um, I got it around him, but my guy couldn't make a play. Just fine. You're just sitting there, wait it out. He, he hit that first touch a little too hard, so he couldn't get back uh, underneath the ball for a high shot. Then this guy's just driving backwards. Um, so he drove backwards, but he didn't flip or anything to gain speed. So I'm easily going to beat him like with boost. And then I just have to dribble around him for a shot on net. When you're going backwards like that, at least backflip. Yeah, like you might get out of position a little bit more, but that's the only way that you can gain speed. So you should definitely... Um, Try and backflip to get back, or just turn around. Like, do a handbrake turn and start using your boost to get back. Alright, so that's game number one in playing with potatoes. Let's see what we get for a game number two. For twos, at least. This is episode two of playing with potatoes. Unless the sound is really bad on the first episode. But, I think we're okay. So. This will come out post RLCS, I think. Just barely. So, someone won. I'm going to say congratulations, Northern Gaming. So, I think they're going to win. I could be wrong. But, yeah. We'll see. I got my uh, champion boost on this account. Look at, look at this. Ooh, I've never actually used the champion boost from last season. At all. So, let's use that now. Why not? Never used it. I actually like the challenger boost probably the most out of those. I like the yellow. I don't really like purple, but purple is stars, you know. Stars are nice, I guess. I don't know. So many items. So many new items. Man, these boosts are loud. I have a game. Oh. I did have a game. At least I got the hard hat on this account. Season 1 silver. Woo! Look at me. I got a silver. Yay. Alright. Let's do it. So at least now with Season 3, there's going to be win streak bonuses. So I should move up quicker. So, um, we'll see if that makes sense. It, like, if that continues. Because last time it took a really long time to move up ranks. But 
So we'll see. Comparative to other seasons, how long it takes me to move up. So here I I pushed the facial to the side, but I didn't have any like like confrontation in the middle. Like usually like you bounce off the ball a bit or whatever. But I didn't really have anything like that. So I was in their zone, so it's better off just go take their boost. And then come back, because why not? And let's start getting my turtle goals going. There's one. Um and both is got like both guys there are just ball chasing when I have control of the ball. Um you generally don't want to do that, but that's going to happen a lot at this level. Like, if you're patient at this level, I feel like you can succeed um, pretty well. Now my guy's not playing. I'm not sure what he's doing. I'm going to wait for the bounce here. Oh, okay. He attacked me. So he attacked way early, but again, if you're not closer to the ball, you shouldn't be attacking this. I'm way closer to this ball. I'm definitely going to hit it. Don't take that risk as the last man back in twos. To try and make a play there. You're better off. Let me hit it. Since you were too slow to it. And then. Um, and then making like an adjustment from there. But. Yeah it didn't really happen here. Here again we got ball chasing. And I'm getting the boost. He didn't grab the boost. Even though he was in my zone. So that was nice. Usually you want to always grab their boost. Like if you're near their boost. Just boost star them. That actually helps a lot. My guy's still not here. Looks like he's going to probably DC in a second. We'll be playing two on one. I'm trying to just dribble around, waste a little bit of time. Here, just go near post. That's all you have to do there. No one ever guards near post. It's just the way it works. I say this like every video. If you have a chance for a shot and you know how to direct it, always go near post. It just works. It just does. All right, Zach Fleener. I don't think he's here, but I don't want to lose a face off. So I'm actually just going to go back. So then I can play defense in a 2v1 situation. Because so I don't expect them to score it. Because I can just make a save. And now they're both up again. Too far. And we get another goal. Oh, he's back. Zach Fleener is back. So there, they're just trying to challenge a little too hard. And just don't shoot it at them. Like, when they're close to you like that, don't shoot it towards the net. That's where they're normally going to block it. Try and use the walls to pass back to yourself or not. I'm going to wait for the bounce. Uh, I probably shouldn't. Should have just made the play. I wanted to go for the chipper. So, uh, what's his name? Deej. He's playing, like, uh, underneath the ball a lot. And then he tries to jump up at it. One, you're not going to get a lot of power that way. Two, it's actually hard to see anything. Because, like, if you have ball cam on, you uh, just can't see anything that's happening uh, around you. Uh, that ball I actually wanted to throw behind me. Oh, well. Still worked out. And then Vasquez, he just keeps charging a little too early, and then the ball will just just hop right over him. Like, he never jumps for the ball when he should. And then I'm just making easy plays around him because he's getting a little too antsy on defense and just wants to come up and hit the ball. And then when you're closer to the ball, it's harder for you to react, and you can't cover as much ground if you were playing defense. I missed that. Oh, well. The no boost dream is dead. Here, I'm just going to chip. Pass myself. And again, at this level, people just don't play the ball in the air at all. So if you can like catch the ball right as it bounces like that, just a nice little touch. It'll like get over a lot of players. Even if you can't make the play in the air, the ball is going to land behind them. And then you can hit it again off the ground if you really, really need to. Here, make a little bit of a save. Now he's staying back. But again, th this is my ball. He charges way too late. Since he was too far back. He charges from like the back side of his net. He was actually up the curve. And then once I notice that, that he does come out of net, all I have to do is tap it. Because he's going to just try and make a play on the ball. All right, we got the win there. Just always go for the boost. See, look at Deej again. He's going underneath the ball and then jumping at it. And just making a whiff. Like, you want to get in the air before that. Here again, trying to shoot near post. Didn't matter if Vasquez was driving into the net. Um, let's see what he did here. Oh, he drove up the post. Okay. He just turned a little too close to the net. And that'll do it for that one. But, like, you can see there, Deej is just trying to go underneath the ball and then jump and hit it. 
But like, even if he does connect, that ball doesn't go anywhere. So it doesn't really make much sense to do that. Um, you want to fly up towards the wall or just wait till it lands. Like, sit behind it and try and time your driving towards it, like your momentum, to uh, hit the ball as it lands. Uh, we'll get one more in here because those two games were pretty quick. And we'll see how fast we climb. It's a good test just to see what type of... Like, how fast this win streak actually helps for people if they were just starting on, like, either a new account or, like, hey, like, I want to get my PS4 account up or my Xbox account up. Um, just to see how quick it goes. Last game, last game. Oh, we got a reserved. Rip, no game this time, boys. No game this time. The thing that sucks is you used to be able to leave here. And then they fixed it because they wanted to vote to forfeit instead. Um, but since the game's not playing... It did help that you like now you can't leave generally. Um... Because if you see that you get matched up against tougher opponents, then um, you could leave before the game started and it wouldn't hurt you. It still happens in ones, though. Like, you can still leave a game, I believe, before it starts and uh, it won't hurt you after you see who you're playing. I wish it didn't show names until, like, you were in-game and then you would get penalized. But, who knows? We'll see what happens. Uh, by the way, guys, this is done before the new big game update for Rocket League, what they're going to announce at least. Uh, so, I don't know what that is yet. So, if they change stuff in Ranked or something, then I just won't know. But, we'll see. We'll see what that is on Sunday. I believe, yeah, they're doing it like at 12.30 or something like that. This is, of course, done before the RLCS, but you'll see it after the RLCS, so... All right, Clay Shawn, let's see what they're doing. Both people went for face-offs on the other team. That generally happens a lot. That's why I I tend to sit back because then, like, there I got a free shot, but I just kind of whiffed on it. It's a good little tip out there. This is my ball. I'm just going to throw it over his head. A little bit wide again. Try and sink it into the post. There we go. We got it. Um, n Neither of them were playing defense again. Like, Icky Bob, he just didn't respect me to hit the ball higher. Then his head, and then it just makes for easy plays. Always just throw the ball high and hard over their heads if possible. Here we get the win. I'm actually going to dribble this to the boost. Take it up the wall, why not? Get a little tip action. Generally, players are going to try and come attack you after you get like this touch. Because they think, oh, I can make a play, but they don't expect the secondary touch. And we got it. We got the goal. Alright. So bump action. He's trying to bump me some more. Makes sense. Not a bad idea if you see someone good. You want to try and annoy him. Oh, I thought he would actually... Come around that ball more and expect me to just bring it to the wall. But he didn't. Here, I just want to tip it away from their goalie. I understand my guy wasn't really there, but it's better than letting them get a clear earlier than later. Again, uh, Icky Bob, he's challenging that ball a little too soon. Nice little play here. Almost worked. A little chipper. Problem is, see, there, like a lower hitbox would have helped. Like, I would have got that ball higher in the air, but. That's the difference between higher and lower hitbox. It just happens that way. That works. Clay Sean has got it for me. Just bring this up the wall and around. I wanted to go for the doomsy dish, but I screwed it up. But Clay Sean is there for the goal. All right. I don't want to go too far here, just in case. Yeah, in case that happened to us. That's why I was. Like, I don't attack too hard or cheat too hard on face-offs when I'm in lower levels because you just never know what's going to happen. And uh, that is why. <laughs> Usually, I would say in prospect, try and stay in net if you're um, if you're the goalie because people might just completely miss the face-offs. Like, at my level, like, I tend to go for boost or cheat up because I expect people to at least touch the wall on face-offs. But you just never know at prospect level 
what they're gonna do. So you're better off playing it a little bit more safer. Just in general, it's a good idea. I shouldn't have hit that, my bad. That's fine though. We'll keep boost control and ball control here. I'm just gonna pick out more boost. I'm gonna make them come and chase me out here. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> not at all. All right, make the save. Take the short. Do a little wheelie action. Boost wheelie action on the ground. Um, yeah, like, you want to curve around that ball and have, a, like, a good clear. You don't want to steal it from teammates if you notice it. Hard to notice sometimes, though. But, um, yeah. We got the win either way. And uh, that'll do it, guys, for this episode of Playing With Potato Season 3. A lot of forfeits early, which is good. Like, I'm, I'm glad people can just forfeit out if they want to. And we still got some helpful tips in there. And we'll see you next time. Bye.